Welcome back to another episode of Thumbs Up Charter Services Behind the Scenes. I'm Captain Carl Burnside from Thumbs Up Charter Services. Glad to have you back with us. I haven't been out here uh, working in about a week because the weather's been so cold. So we got a little reprieve here uh, today and Monday and Tuesday. And then Wednesday we're supposed to have a huge snowstorm, they say. So we'll see what happens with that. And then the temperatures are going to plunge right on us again. But we got to be out here working on anything we can in decent weather, reasonably decent that we can get out here. Uh, as you know, we still have a lot of work to do on the, on the Ambrose. So today, we're going to be working on the conversion of some Big John multi-position rod holders that we showed you or alluded to before when we did the radar arch a few weeks ago. I had to order a couple more brackets and get them in, um, the appropriate brackets that fit the Fish on Sports uh, radar arch. And now we're going to adapt those uh, Big John multi-position rod holders to that bracket to fit this arch. So stay tuned with us. We'll show you some interesting details in just a moment. So what I have here is the Big John um, adapter that fits to a Big John rod tree. And this bolts onto a clamp that goes here that goes onto the rod tree post. And I've taken that off because it screws on. Now, the first two that we converted here with the Fish On Sports, we were using their light bar clamp here that they had supplied. And I said, cool, because all I had to do was unbolt this and replace it with this, because it was screwed on in the back and actually you didn't use the center one, but you used the upper and lower holes and it fit perfectly fine and away we went. We put this onto our arch. So I ordered two more of these um, light bar clamps. They're the 1.91 inch diameter for the arch itself, if you go to their site. Much to my surprise, because I ordered this arch uh, six months ago in the middle of summer, these came in welded. Not only bolted, but welded. So that kind of threw a little ointment in my plan just to simply unbolt these and put my Big John multi-position rod holders onto this clamp. So what we're going to show you now is what we did um, and are doing right now to adopt the uh, Big John equipment to this Fish On Sports clamp. Obviously there's a couple things we could have done. We could have cut this weld, unbolted this, cut this weld, unbolted this, and then simply put the Big John um, adapter onto it. But I chose to actually mark the position of where I had to drill this hole and this hole on this has to be bigger to adopt the uh, multi-position rod holder because I just simply didn't want to cut this weld. It would look like heck and uh, that, that wouldn't be a good thing to do. So it's a minor job at this point. Unfortunately, if you buy one of these clamp sets new for a, for a Fish on Sports Arch that you've got to uh, drill and adopt the welded ear if you will, on the bracket to make the Big John uh, equipment fit. Alright, so the first thing we had to do to make this project possible is here's our old Big John rod tree. We had to remove the clamp and one of the rods, multiple position rod holders from the tree itself. And then the next step we're going to have to do is take these bolts out. And we're going to show you that in a little bit of detail. Because they're held in with Loctite and they, generally they don't want to come out. Uh, if you don't do this step, you will probably round out the hex in these bolts and then you're going to be up the creek, as they say. Find your appropriate Allen wrench. And these are held in with permanent type lock thread sealant. Now, if you're going to go try to take these out without doing what I'm about to do, you're, like I said, you're going to strip these out. You need to take a torch. You need to apply some gentle heat to soften that Loctite. Just a little bit. We go in here. See if we can break them loose. Not yet. But there we go. They'll just start to ease, start to ease and break loose on you slowly. That's all you need. Once you get them moving, they will come out. We 
we've got our old base out. The next thing we're going to do is do the same to this. This has Loctite in it as well. We need to remove this set screw out of this bracket. Set screw is loosened and coming out. The last step, same thing to this Phillips screw right here. It has Loctite on it. To say, not a whole lot of heat, just enough to warm the bolt, to soften that Loctite on the threads. Yeah. There it goes. And we're going to be reusing this hardware, some of it, when we convert over to the uh, Fish On Sports. A little warm. To the Fish On Sports. Uh, mount. So you got to save it. So once you remove this from this pin, it goes through here like this. Okay, it goes in there and through. You save that pin with the spring on it. It is threaded. It accepts that screw in the end of it. Here's your little ear, uh, Big John ear, that came off of that bracket. We're going to use this on this. And we're going to lay it over this, and we're going to carefully mark that hole, this small hole here, on this bracket where we've got to drill with a 3 16 of an inch drill, and we've got to tap that with a quarter, I think it was a quarter 20 tap that I used. This hole also is threaded on the Fish On Sports bracket. We've got to drill that out with a 3 8 of an inch drill, uh, because the pin it's going to slide through it, of course, isn't threaded, and the hole right now is too small. But we'll drill that with the 3 8 we'll drill that with the 3 16 and then tap it, and then we'll reassemble the whole unit. It is very important when you're matching this up that you get this alignment of this hole correct, because otherwise you will not line up between your pin, your retaining pin, and the center pin with the spring on it here and your unit won't work. You have basically one chance to do this, so this makes sure that you are very careful about where you mark this and drill this hole in relationship to the center hole. This upper hole that was threaded on the factory Fish On Sports uh, light bar bracket, we actually drilled it out with a 3 8 inch drill bit to fit the threaded adapter for our multi-position um, Big John rod arch a um, rod holder to go in. For drilling purposes I've actually screwed this light bracket into my work table all right, to make it uh, being held in a fixture if you will so I can drill the hole where I've carefully marked it using a 3 16 of an inch drill. Alright, threads are in good shape. We're going to remove the tap at this point. Very carefully back her on out. And we're just going to dry fit our set screw at this point. What I mean dry fit is I'm not putting any Loctite on it yet because I want to make sure I get everything else to line up. So remember, I still got to work on that hole up there. So we're just going to put the set screw in with no Loctite on it. This is the one that came out of the Big John eye just a few moments ago. 
We're going to make sure that it's where we want it, that it sets flush, and that we're happy with that. It looks like i got to cut just a bit more in that hole to get this head of this bolt to set flush. You want it to set flush. Just take that out of there. <clears throat> that. So we've got our set screw in. We threaded our hole. As you can see it sits proud out here so it can act as the uh, pin locking location for our rod holder. The next step we'll do is assemble this rod holder to the ear. All assembled. Okay, got to clean the threads up, tighten everything up, but does it work? Yes, it does. So, we'll get that cleaned up, everything tightened up. We'll get these two onto the rocket launcher and we'll show you what that looks like when we get her done. Because uh, we just saved ourselves 400 bucks by doing this. Unfortunately, I can say the first two are really easy. So if you've got an older Fish on Sports, um, you know, radar arch and you've got uh, the older um, light bar mount brackets, hey, you're golden, you're really just taking this whole thing off of the Big John unit and screwing it back onto the base of the, of the uh, Fish On Sports attachment bracket. But unfortunately, like I say, in the past six months since I ordered this, they started welding these two. So the newer ones, you know, you're going to have to get creative if you wanted to do this. You know, the only thing I caution is on any of this, um, be exact in your holes. Be very careful. You got one shot to do this. We're back up in the boat here <clears throat> on the port side of the radar arch and uh, getting ready to mount our rod holders, our final two rod holders here that we just finished. And uh, we got them tightened up, cleaned up, ready to go. So, fish on sports base and the Big John adjustable rod holder. Might say it's kind of like, I guess they have uh, in food, they have fusion, right? They say there's fusion dishes. Well, this is our fusion dish with fishing equipment. <laughs> kind of like that. And you start your bolt. Kind of like that. Hopefully you guys are seeing this. Then we'll have to do a couple quick measurements. We'll get this thing tightened up, get it in place, and then we have uh, one more to install, of course, because we did two of these. One down here, and we'll show you what that looks like. Well, we got them mounted and tightened up where we want them here on the radar arch on the port side. And now we're done with the radar arch. And uh, like I said, we were able to save. 400 bucks by doing four of these conversions, and uh, looks like they're going to work out quite well for us. So, uh, anytime you can save a little bit of money, it's a good thing. And uh, store it up there where they need to go. It's Captain Carl Birdside here. Thank you to you again for joining us today. Thumbs up charter services behind the scenes. Uh, we'll try to get back here in a couple days, maybe a week, when the weather lets up to start jamming again because we really need to another week goes by here this super cold stuff we're going to be i'm going to be getting worried <laughs> if i'm going to make this on time but anyways if you'd like to make a reservation with us for the 2022 fishing charter season give us a call 810-513-6073 visit us on the web at thumbsupcharter.com or at facebook or google at thumbs up charter services in Sea Wing or Harbor Beach, Michigan. Take care. Have a great day. We'll see you again.